Hi guys, today I am back to film another Ulta haul. I don't know why, it just seems like there's been so many like new products that have launched and things I've really wanted to try that I just am finally getting around to trying. Um, but with these massive hauls also comes a massive decluttering, so that'll probably be happening in about the next month or two, I'm hoping. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I've been trying a lot of foundations out lately. I'm kind of trying to just get down to the core foundations that I really like and want to keep and then just kind of stop there. There's always going to be new foundations launching, new products, that kind of thing. So, I mean, it's possible that I would try more in the future. Um, but I did pick up two, well, three new ones. I was wrong. There's actually four if you count this one. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for Oily Skin. I'm actually going to be returning this. Um, I just don't think it's really that spectacular. It's, it's okay. And it's just, meh not enough for me to want to keep it. So I did use it once and I'm probably going to either give it away or return it or something just because I'm kind of like, it was okay, but it didn't really hold up as well as I was expecting it to. As much as people have raved about this, I really expected better results, but I think only like six hours of wear out of this and I have other BB creams that I can get at least eight hours of wear out of it before it starts to just feel too oily. So I'm going to be returning this. The color match wasn't fantastic either, so that is kind of another thing, but I did pick this up, I just am not going to be keeping it. I'm also going to be returning this as well. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Beauty 7 Piece Radiant Complexion Kit. It's $48, I believe it was on sale for $28 or something like that because there was a reason why I picked it up. Um, I tried the foundation and the foundation works. Like it's a great color, it's in shade number 2 shell, but everything else in the kit just does not work. Um, this powder right here, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but this looks like it would be a bronzer for me. The concealer is really, really orange. The Stroke of Light is a product that I just feel like I've never personally really understood. It's too sheer to be a concealer, and on me, it's actually not really even that brightening. So the only things I really liked out of this kit were the uh, foundation, which I kind of liked, the two brushes, and then I didn't get to try Lash Domination, but I mean, I don't know. I'm just like, I don't... I don't really love this and I just don't understand why Bare Minerals would come out with a foundation as light as shell but then you know in the powders and stuff like this is obviously just so dark so I'm just kind of like what are you doing Bare Minerals like you need to expand your shade range of like everything you can't just have you know a few products have a great shade range and then the rest just not um, especially if you want people to be using just your products but I'm gonna be returning this just because it's just not that great um, the Bare Skin Foundation held up on me a lot better than I thought it would. I want to say probably about 8 hours, I think, of wear before I was like, okay, this is just like too greasy. Um, but it wasn't terrible, so I'm just kind of returning those two because they're just not something I want to keep and not something I want to work with. These two foundations I feel a little bit more hopeful about. This one is the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation Concentrate. This is what I have on today, and today is my first day testing it out. So far, kind of mixed impressions. I put it on and it didn't really set, which most matte foundations, they set really, really quickly. And I kind of was expecting it and waiting for it and it just kind of never came. So, I don't know. After I set it though now and stuff, it looks really nice. I just can kind of have to see how it wears throughout the day. Um, but it, it feels super luxurious and the color is almost perfect. It's shade number one. It's just a hair too dark, which another product I bought later in this haul will kind of help with that. But so far, pretty good. We'll just kind of have to see how the rest of the day goes. And this I already know I like, but I picked it up in the correct color this time. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, but this time I picked it up in the color Snow. I think Pearl technically is the yellow-toned one, I think. But I picked up Snow because the whole range is basically yellow-toned. They try to say that some of them are pink, but I feel like most of them are just yellow. So I went with this one because it was still yellow-toned, but it was just a lighter yellow tone than pearl like pearl just still looked too yellow and maybe a little too dark so i went with snow um i haven't tried it on my face yet but like swatching on my hand it was like a dead even perfect match so i'm very excited to have it match now um and i'm excited to finish up my my other colors so that way i can start using that one and on the note of Too faced born this way i also picked up the new concealer and this is in very fair again perfect match well not perfect match perfect color I should say because it doesn't match which I don't want it to I want it to be just a hint brighter and it is it's just a hint brighter so I really really like this I'm thinking this might be like my new holy grail concealer because 
Although I love the Urban Decay Naked Skin, it's not that moisturizing and my under eyes can tend to look really dry with it. Um, kind of dry and kind of crepey, which is just, no, it just makes you look older and it's just bad. This is a little bit more moisturizing, so it doesn't have that like dry, crepey look on the under eye. It looks just nice and bright and youthful. So I am really, really liking this. I have heard of some packaging flaws already, and mine does seem to have some kind of weird packaging flaw. Um, like when I try to twist off the cap, it just kind of, kind of clicks and it kind of feels like it's going to come apart. But like, if I do this, it's not really on all the way, like it'll easily untwist, so I gotta like really twist until it clicks and it's kind of a hard one and then to like untwist it, it like, I don't know, it just feels like I'm breaking it. But I mean, I have heard of a couple other packaging flaws with this, so uh, that's kind of a, you know, not so great thing, but overall I really like this. This is another kit I picked up while the Bare Minerals one was on sale. This is the Becca Best of Radiance Blushed Radiance Kit. I've thought about picking this up before and I just never really got around to it. It's originally $32.50, but they are on sale for $20 at Ulta, I think online and in-store. I know in-store they are at least. Um, so this has just got kind of a range of products. It has the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, which I'm obsessed with. I've been using that all of this last month. I have it on today. Um, it has, I believe it's Moonstone. Yes, Moonstone. It's called the Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight Wand. So that I was excited to try because Moonstone and Opal, I always get them mixed around. And Opal is the one that's actually too dark for me. And Moonstone's the one that works a little bit better. So I was excited to have that. This is what really sold me on the kit though. It is the Blush in... It's the Blush in Flower Child. It's beautiful. It's really, really stunning. You don't really need a highlighter with them because they do have kind of a pretty sheen to them. But of course I do a little bit of highlighter too. And then it comes with a mini pressed opal. I do wish it came with a mini pressed moonstone, but it is kind of nice that they offer you a variety instead of just doing two of the same color or whatever. Um, so, so far I really like this. I've just kind of played around with some of the products. Um, there's actually nothing in here. I have the products all out. I've been kind of playing with them this week. So you can see these are like little mini ones. These are even cuter than the other ones I showed last time because they actually have the little metal like lids on them. So this one here is opal, and this is flower child. It's just such a beautiful pinky color. It's something that I've just been really into lately, so I really like this. And then of course there's the little spotlight wand in Moonstone. I rarely ever buy nail polish, but this was on clearance, and I was just like, you know, I've had my eye on this collection for a while, and I never really got around to picking anything up. This is the New Orleans collection in the little minis. I love the minis because I feel like they're not quite as wasteful. I know I rarely ever go through a full bottle of nail polish. I'm just not very good about it. I'm not very consistent with it. Um, so I kind of like getting the minis because they don't last as long and I actually have used up a few minis before. So I always like to get the mini ones. That way I just feel like they're not just sitting and collecting dust or going bad. So it comes with, it got myself into a jambalaya, take a right on bourbon, I'm so swamped, and show us your tips. I'm really excited to play with all of these. The I'm so swamped, I'm a little on the fence about just because it is kind of a swampy green, but I think I can kind of find a way that I like to wear it. Plus the packaging for this, I just love. It's super, super beautiful. Um, my mom has been to New Orleans a few times and she says it's stunning, so I really want to go sometime in the future. But these are just something pretty, and like I said, they were on clearance, so I thought since I've had my eye on them for a while, I might as well go ahead and get them now. This is a new, it's not really a new brand, but maybe kind of a new line. Um, Freeman comes out with lots of masks. I've seen them in plenty of hauls and stuff. I own a few. I think I have a strawberry and chocolate and like a Dead Sea one that's in blue packaging. Um, but they're pretty popular for like their tube masks. They do have some smaller sample packets. But they launched this new beauty infusion line that has some new masks. So I picked up the little sample ones, but there are full size ones. And there's a couple in the full size that they don't have in the sample size. So I got the Purifying In Shower Mask with Sea Kelp and Probiotics. This one I think is going to be right up my alley because I really don't like putting on a mask and then waiting like 15-20 minutes for it to sit on there and then going and rinsing it off. So I, you know, love anything that I can apply and just wait a couple minutes and then rinse it off right away. So I'm thinking this one I might really like, but I'll have to kind of read through and see. Um, all of these ones are serum infused facial masks, so I think that's kind of the big difference between these and the regular, like, feel, I think they're called Feeling Beautiful Freeman Masks. This is the Overnight Brightening one. 
I'm super excited for this too. I love sleeping masks, overnight masks, whatever you want to call them. Every company calls them something different. But this one is hibiscus and vitamin C. I am so excited for this one. I'm hoping I love it because, again, Freeman's a pretty affordable brand. So I feel like if I love it, it'll be something I could easily repurchase. And this one I actually didn't see in the full size. I only saw it in the travel size. This is the Cleansing Clay Mask. This one is Charcoal and Probiotics. Um, this one I'm not as excited about, but I really did want to kind of try it and see what it does because, of course, it claims to clear pores. I just haven't found anything that I feel like really, I don't know, does anything for me in terms of, like, cleaning out, like, pores and blackheads and that kind of thing. I'm excited to try these and see how they do. Um, the charcoal one, though, I was kind of more thinking I would try this when I have actual breakouts and stuff just because that seems to be what a lot of people seem to like charcoal for is, like, breakouts, so... We'll see. I'm excited to try them and I'll probably, you know, talk about them in an empties video or something once I use them up. That same day I picked up to kind of this controversial palette. This is the Lorac Pro 3. I've heard just very mixed reviews on this kind of all over the place. Um, I'm going to show you mine though because, like, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell, but I have been using the heck out of this thing. I seriously love this palette so much. I've used every color in here besides maybe the jet black. And I've used the truffle too, which is even that like charcoal-y gray color. I've used it a little, little bit. Not a lot. Um, but I'm obsessed. I love this palette. I just, every day I come up with something new with it. Um, I think it's the same quality as the other Lorac Pro palettes, or at least the Pro 2, which is the only Pro palette I own. But people have said it's not the same quality, so I don't know. I guess just kind of try it for yourself and see. I personally think it's the same though. I think they're really blendable. They do kick up a lot of powder though, which I know is something that a lot of people don't really like, but I can kind of get over it. So I don't know. I sucked it up because I really love the colors in this and so far I am obsessed with it. Picked up another Buxom palette for my Buxom palette review, which will be coming in a few weeks, but this is the May Contain Nudity Eyeshadow palette. This one is somewhat similar to the Dolly's Wild Side. The Dolly's Wild Side I feel like is more blushy tones and kind of got that hint of purple in there. This is kind of, when I looked at it, I was like, this looks like the Naked palette or the original Naked palette. It's kind of what made me think of. So this is what it looks like. It's got this beautiful gold, which immediately made me think of like Half Baked. It's got some great matte shadows in here, some light kind of shimmery ones. So the only two I was like down here, these are kind of things that I don't feel like the Naked palette really has because this one's kind of a taupey color. And this one might be kind of close to Dark Horse. It's kind of a dark... I feel like it's kind of more of a cool toned brown, but my camera is definitely making it look warm, so I don't know. Um, but I'm going to play around with this. I actually have not used this yet, so I will be using this soon, but I just picked this up a few days ago. Um, a lot of this stuff has been like three or four little hauls kind of over the last couple weeks, or at least since I filmed my last one. I'm excited to try this out, and I will include this in the Buxom review and let you guys know how it goes. I'm sure it's just as good a quality as the Dolly's Wild Side one, so... I'm excited to play with that one. Since we're on the subject of palettes, I've obviously purchased a ton lately and it's because I do kind of plan on decluttering a lot of them. Um, but this is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette. I picked this up on Alda's website because I had heard that it was on there and it was. It was the only product I think BH Cosmetics has on our website. Um, I don't, I've not subscribed to Carly. I've watched a few of her videos. Nothing wrong with her. I just, I think that our makeup taste is a little bit different, but kind of looking at her palette, I really, really wanted to try it at least because it's a lot of colors that I would wear a lot. Um, I mean, it's just kind of a basic neutrals palette. The highlighters, I have not got to try them on my face yet. I've tried a couple on the eyes and they're really, really beautiful. I have had one other BH Cosmetics palette in the past and I just really wasn't impressed, but these shadows do seem a little bit better. So I don't know if it's because it's a collab or what it was, but it, they do seem a little bit better. Plus the packaging, I actually really, really like. First of all, I think it's really cute and kind of elegant and stuff, but it's really like lightweight and I actually kind of really like that because I think like traveling and stuff, this would be great. Um, but we'll kind of see. I'm going to play around with it some more before I fully decide how I feel about it. Now kind of on to some random products. This was kind of a new, newer launch in our store. It is the Soap and Glory Cosmetics. We finally started to carry some of those things. Um, I did want to try like the one heck of a blot foundation, but... I just felt like the reviews were kind of mixed and I'm like, you know, I've been trying so many foundations as it is. I'm just not going to. Um, plus the shade selection with them is just not, I mean, it's not good. There's only like four colors, I think, and they're all 
slightly close. So I decided to try a lipstick. This is the Sexy Mother Pucker lipstick and this is the Super Nude and it's the matte finish ones. These I remind me of the Urban Decay, the Comfort Mattes. They're so wonderful. I love them. There's just a nice little swatch of it there. I think I might have even mentioned this in my favorites video because this is kind of like the color that I've been reaching for. I love the formula though. It's really, really nice. I've worn it a few times already and I think that this is probably going to be one of my go-to lipsticks. I even love the packaging. Like it's kind of a little bit of a chubbier lipstick, but I love it. It's that super pretty kind of rose gold packaging. So I love this. I am super glad I picked it up because they're not super affordable. I want to say they are a little bit pricier for a drugstore lipstick, but the formula is really, really nice. And like I said, I feel like the Comfort or their matte formula is really similar to the Urban Decay Comfort mattes, so it might kind of be a nice dupe, even though they're not too far apart in price. This is another product I talked about in my favorites video. It is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer. All my other bronzers I think are going to be leaving and I'm just going to keep this and like one powder bronzer because that's how much I love this. So I mean that's, for me that's a big deal. Um, I feel like I guess I don't own that many bronzers but still to just keep this in one bronzer I think it's kind of a big deal at least for me. So I love this that much. Um, it's just in my opinion beautiful. I meant to give you guys a swatch in that video but I don't have any more in that bottle so I'll give you guys a quick swatch right now. So there's what it looks like there. Applied a little more than I wanted to but I mean it just blends out so nicely and it just I mean it just looks like you're tan. I've even mixed it in with lotions and stuff too just to get a little bit of like a bronze and it's beautiful. So this is one of those products that's been great for multitasking, a lot of uses and stuff. So I really like this and I'm glad I re-picked it up in the big size. I placed my order for the Carly Bible palette. I had the 20% off coupon and I was also trying to get to $50 for shipping. So I did pick up a couple other little things. Um, we recently just got these in my store, but at the time we didn't. These are the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. So these are the new melted, the ones that are like a traditional liquid lipstick where it's um, very liquidy. It's the doe foot applicator, whereas the new ones are, or the old ones, I should say, are like kind of like a squeezy tube. I don't know. They're a little bit weird, but this is in the color Queen Bee, which is definitely like the most popular color in the line. Um, out of all of them, this was just my favorite, so that's why I picked it up. It's kind of a purpley pink color. There's a swatch of it there. I haven't really got to wear this on the lips yet, though, so I don't know how the formula is. Um, just kind of from swatching it and playing with it, it seems like it sets, but it still transfers, which I'm okay with because I feel like any time you have a liquid lipstick and it does transfer a little bit, they're almost a little more comfortable on the lips because they're a little bit more like moisturizing because they don't like 100% lock down and set and, you know, dry out your lips horribly bad. So I do feel like they transfer a little bit, but I haven't got to test the formula out a lot, so... I don't want to say too much on them yet, um, but so far I really like that. This was a very much needed product and it was out on the Ulta website for forever. I waited to see if we were going to get in our store and we didn't. This is the NYX foundation mixer and I got mine in the white shade because obviously I need to lighten up my foundations most of the time. Um, I've been very, very lucky lately and a lot of my foundations have matched me like perfectly now that I'm just, I mean, I'm seriously just like a hair darker and like all my foundations match so much better. It's crazy. So I don't need this a lot right now, but I know during the winter time and stuff, this will be nice to have because um, I do get super, super fair. So I am really glad I picked this up. Plus this kind of opens the door on how many foundations I can try because a lot of foundations it's like oh I can't try that because it's just not there's nothing even close to my skin tone um, so this is kind of nice because it allows me to kind of try some foundations I've wanted to try but haven't been able to um, I've just played with it a little bit and it seems like it's gonna be really nice and like I'm really gonna like it I don't particularly love that every time I open it though the product just like oozes up out of the like little nozzle like normally you see you can kind of see it's already starting to like bubble up so that is kind of one thing because I'm like, I don't like that it just starts coming out right away. Um, but I'm going to have to kind of play with this more too and let you guys know. And last product, this I just felt like trying just because it was new. The packaging's gorgeous. 
This is the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. Um, I'm almost out of my L'Oreal Infallible one, and I, of course, have my Kula like, sunscreen one, which I love. But I just wanted something else just to use every once in a while when I don't want to use the Kula one. And with the L'Oreal one being almost gone, I kind of wanted just another one to have. So I picked this up. At the time, I don't think there was any reviews, and now there's a few reviews, so the reviews were kind of mixed. I think some people were like, oh, it doesn't do anything, and some people were like, oh, I love it. So I'll just have to see. Um, I don't know. I have mixed feelings on setting sprays kind of as it is. Some, I feel like I do see a difference, and some, if there is a difference, it's so subtle that I don't notice it. So I hope that that one will kind of blow me away and be amazing, but we'll just have to see. That is it for this Ulta haul. Honestly, I'm kind of done now. I am not. I'm kind of going on a little bit of a low buy, at least for the next few months, so that way I quit going so insane and buying so much. Um, but I kind of at the same time know that I am doing these big decluttering coming up, and I kind of want to just get down to the core things that I like. Um, however, I don't want to just quickly throw something aside and not really give it a fair shot. So I'm kind of in this torn place where I'm like, oh, I want to try the new stuff and you know, make sure it's not something that I'm obsessed with and that I am going to, like, be my Holy Grail product, but at the same time, I just want to get down to the core things that are my favorite. So I'm kind of torn in between right now, um, but like I said, I think just, you know, giving it another month or two, I'll really be able to go through my collection and be like, this is on its way out, this is staying, get rid of all of these, keep these, that kind of thing. So anyways, that is it for this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.